Instagram. Good day, folks. Today, we're out at some friend's house and we're gonna show you how to kill chickens with a very basic setup. You're not gonna have to buy anything special to kill chickens this way and it's not gonna cost you a lot. Today, we're gonna kill some older hens that our friends were able to get for free. When a hen is two or three years old, their laying production is gonna fall way off and a lot of people don't really wanna keep them around. Now, you're not gonna be able to cook an old hen just like a two-month-old broiler from the grocery store. You're gonna have to probably cook it for a long time. That's why they call these stew hens. First, I'm gonna walk you through our setup and then I'm gonna show you how to take a chicken through the setup and walk you through the steps of butchering a chicken. This is an ultra basic killing setup. We've got hatchets, we have a forked stick to hold heads, and something solid to chop into. I don't have killing cones, and I'm trying to show you something you can do without buying anything for your setup, so we're just chopping them today. Here is our scalding setup. This is a canner on a small propane stove. A little dish soap. How, how hard? Next, we just have a clean surface we're gonna pluck here. On this end, we've disinfected this whole piece of sheet metal. And on this end, we're gonna eviscerate the chickens. You're gonna wanna have your whole setup within reach of running water. And you need some buckets or containers to put guts and feathers in. You also need a good knife. You can get this one. It's made by Mora of Sweden for about $10 on Amazon. So I have this hen here. She's alive, she's totally calm. If you hold the chicken upside down, it pretty much totally chills out. We're gonna actually show you all the details, so if you're squeamish, you probably shouldn't watch this. What I'm gonna do is just position it to chop his head off. With one nice chop, the chicken's totally calm. And now its uh, head is severed. It's bleeding and it doesn't really know anything happened. When the chicken flaps around, you can get a little bit of blood on you. So I've chopped my chicken's head off. It's had a chance to bleed, and now I'm gonna scald it. We're checking our water temperature, and what we're going for is 145 to 150 degrees, and that is right where we're at. It's always kind of sad when you kill an animal, but I feel like we're putting these old hens to good use. They're gonna fill our bellies and fill our family's bellies this winter. When you scald your bird, you want to put it in your water and you wanna get it all the way under the water, including the feet, and you want to agitate it. After the bird's scalded, about five to 10 seconds, I'm gonna pull it out of the water. I'm gonna take one wing feather and give it a tug. It's not ready yet because it's not coming out easily. I'm gonna put it back in the water. The dish soap you put in the water just helps get the carcasses nice and clean. I'm gonna check it again, pull on a wing feather. It's not coming out easy, I'm putting it back in the water. Let's check a wing feather here. That seems about right. That wing feather came out really without tugging at all. Another way to check your scald is to rub your feet and see if the skin comes off. And it's peeling off pretty well there, so I think we got our scald right. The key to plucking a chicken is going fast and aggressively and not stopping till it's done. Some of these feathers will just stay in there and you can just squeeze them out. We pull the skin off the feet because we'll use the feet in making chicken stock when you're done plucking, just rinse down the chicken with a little water. We're also gonna just wash off our work surface. We're gonna cut the feet off. We're gonna bend the joint. There's a bump right here and a bump right here. These are on the thigh bone and what would be the ankle bone of this chicken. I'm cutting on the back of the leg right between those. Just a little slit. Don't push hard. You don't want to dull your knife on bone. You can continue cutting without pressing hard on any bone. And then you should be able to snap and twist. If there's anything left, it's just a little tendon. You can cut it with a knife. Next, we're going to cut off the neck. I'm going to slit the skin around the neck. 
and just cut the skin all the way around. At the base of the neck, you're gonna see a lump. If your chickens haven't eaten, which I would recommend not feeding them for a day, it may be a big lump. This is just a small lump. That's the crop. The windpipe is also in here, right here. And you can feel the windpipe because it's stiff. I'm gonna grab the crop and the windpipe. I'm just gonna give a tug. I'm gonna tear them out of the body and I'm gonna pull the skin off the neck. Now the neck is bare. I'm gonna take a pair of heavy duty clippers or shears. I'm gonna cut that neck off. I have the chicken on its back. Here's his breastbone, here's his vent. Incredibly for this hen, reproduction, egg laying, and defecation all happen in this one multi-purpose hole. What we're gonna do between the breastbone and the vent, we're gonna grab a pinch of skin. We're going to slice. And you wanna slice till you're through the outer wall, skin, muscle, fat, and there you can see internal organs. The next step, get at least four fingers in there and tear it open. Next, you're gonna work your hand in with the back of your hand underneath the breastbone and you're gonna start peeling with your fingertips all the internal organs from the ribs of the chicken. We're gonna work everything back towards the back of this chicken. Now what we have is all of the organs of this chicken hanging out of the chicken over our gut bucket. Coming up from your guts, you're gonna see the very lower end of your intestine. And this runs down to the vent. This is what, you don't wanna nick or break any of this intestine. I'm gonna hold all of those entrails to the left and I'm gonna cut down on the right side of the vent. There's a bone here. You have to cut around the tip of that bone. And I'm gonna cut around the vent. Next, I'm gonna hold all the entrails to the right. I'm gonna cut down on the left side. I'm gonna cut around, there's a bone right here. I'm gonna cut around the tip of that bone and around the bottom of the vent. Now what I have is all the entrails here, completely intact, and there's the vent. I just cut the butthole out of this chicken. <laughs> I'm gonna lay these entrails on the table. The vent is right here. If the vent drips at all, it's dripping into my gut bucket. If you wanna save the liver, carefully remove it from the rest of the entrails. You do have to watch out for this bile sac, which is connected to the liver. Don't nick that, it's full of a greenish, black bile which can taint your meat. I made a mess of this liver by the way. Here's the heart. If you want to save your heart, just cut it free. You can tell the gizzard by how firm it is. If you want to save your gizzard, slice it with a knife. On the inside, you're going to find food and grit. There's gravel in here. Get rid of that. This inner layer is connective tissue like a tendon. It's very tough. It protects the muscle from the grit. And if you're gonna keep it to eat, you have to peel that out. Inside this chicken, there's still some lung tissue. It's that bright red tissue in there. We're gonna scrape that out with our fingers. The last step is to cut off this oil gland. The chickens use oil from this gland to oil their feathers. I'm gonna start above it. I'm gonna slice until I feel that I'm hitting bone. I don't wanna hit cut into the bone. I don't wanna ruin my blade. And then I'm gonna slice that off. I'm gonna give the bird one final rinse to get all the blood and mess off of it. All right, our chicken's bagged and ready for the freezer. So today I showed you a very basic and economical setup for killing chickens. If you've dreamed of raising your own meat, I would encourage you to do so. You can raise your own meat, or you can just look in your local classifieds or on Craigslist and find your own free stewing hens.